Donald Trump took another couple of hits in the last 48 hours to look at the weekend. Political analyst Dallas Jones is here to break it all down for us. Good morning to you. Thanks for being here. Good morning. Thank well, you. we have the numbers now taking a look at the different polls and, and they're quite different. So the Washington Post ABC News poll shows her ahead by 12 points, but the Wall Street Journal NBC News poll shows her ahead by five points. Either way, though, it looks like that she is pulling ahead. How are you feeling about the numbers this morning? Well, I think it's a long road until November, but but certainly it's a it's a good uh, litmus for where the country is falling in terms of uh, the upcoming matchup. The polls certainly are one indicator. I, I, you know, uh, Mr. Trump has had a, a, a very bad month um, coming off some very anemic fundraising numbers. Uh, you're, uh, you know, you're looking at about one point three million dollars um, that he showed in the bank at the end of the month for a presidential candidate and and that's something to seriously be worried about for the Republican le leadership. And it seems like the hits keep coming for him because Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell was just asked if he felt Trump was qualified to be the president. We didn't really see an answer from him sort of skirted around the issue. Absolutely he was asked he was asked the question twice um, over the uh, recently over the uh, over the, the last couple of days and he responded that it was simply the voters job to determine whether or not uh, Mr. Mr. Trump was qualified and so uh, the Senate majority majority leader keeping some distance between himself and the Republican nominee and but but he he, he has asserted that he will vote for Donald Trump um, but will not answer the question on whether or not he's qualified now let's talk about what happened in Scotland so Trump is there it, it was a, a just an historic weekend you've got the UK leaving the the EU then you've got him talking about his golf course do you feel like that hurt him? He talked about his golf course for 10 minutes versus maybe addressing some of the more serious issues. Well, I think these are some of the challenges that they really, really have to have to worry about going into the next election. And this whole notion of being presidential. Here we are on 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 the, the, the eve, the cusp of what was a, a, a world changing cataclysmic event, um, not only for the people of, of, of England or Europe, but for the entire country. And here and, 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 and Mr. Trump is focusing on the fact that he just opened a new golf course in, in Scotland, which, you know, was hurt really badly by the Brexit um, ordeal and, and, and the fact that the Scots voted overwhelmingly to stay a part of the EU. And so it was terribly sensitive to what was happening in the world and it, it sets a, a, a stage if you will for for what Americans may expect to see under a Trump presidency. Let's talk about the Supreme Court. It underlined how important this election will be when it comes to the next nominee. It's, it's going to be huge and it all hangs on the next Supreme Court appointee, doesn't it? Absolutely. And 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 so we've seen a big dialogue around the 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 confirmation of Merrick Garland, who was nominated by President Obama. Uh, Senator Repub Senate Republicans are refusing to give him a hearing. And so what we saw in recent cases that have come out around affirmative action, as well as immigration, is that right now the court is at a place where um, it's working on an even number and it's designed to work on an odd number when it comes to some of these decisions and so an immigration case that was voted four to four um, you know there's no there's no swing vote to move that one one way or the other um, but it, it, it's going to be the one of the number one issues going into January for the new president all right well it seems to change every day so we always have you to break it down for us Alice Jones good to see you as always Absolutely. keep us up to date with what's going on it's changing every day all right Tom.